Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back once again to JJ's PC Builds. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And I'm moving the microphone. <laughs> and if you've already subscribed, welcome to the family. Welcome to the community. And also to my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do. Help them watch the videos from beginning to end and supporting the channel, telling your friends to come on down and join the community. You know it all, you know, y'all know what today is. Today is graphics card nightmares right here on JJ's PC Builds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and see what they got cooking over there at Amazon. So let's go ahead and jump to the action screen. See there, we jump pretty well at to the action screen. And moving my microphone again. All right, we're on DuckDuckGo. Let's go ahead and type in Amazon. You know. And let's pull up and see what Amazon's got cooking. So always remember when you go to Amazon, if you're just dealing with computers only, go to the all button, click on computers. You know, you can do GPU for gaming. That still comes out pretty good. So, and you know, Amazon always puts up the 580, always puts up the lower end cards. So, if you're first time building, then, you know, you'll see these first end cards. I don't know about this one, the 580, but the 1660 Super Zerlon, uh, I don't know about that. I got one of their cards, you know, this is just another different name on the box, but it used to be Care, but now it's Zerlon. I just don't know. See, I do know that when I tested out their graphics card, their four gig graphics card, and eh, it's not so great. So just to let you know that, you know, that's not something I'm going to recommend to people. Okay, now they got the 3060 version 2, 12 gigabyte for 309. That's not a bad deal. 3060 version 2. So, it's an Asus Tough. Look at that. Look at that card right there. That's just a beast of a card, it looks like. If you're just starting out gaming and you want to stay in between the two and $300 range, I mean, I really, to me, I really am not going to recommend, like, the you know, the 1600s, you know, because basically you want to come up in the times. This card right here, the 30 series card, is more or less like one generation behind the 40 series. So that's something to think about, too. If you want to go to the 40 series, then that's a different story. You know, 3050, I definitely ain't going to recommend. No way, no wow, uh, no. Um, 580, they got the Max on 580. You know, that's a China based card. Um, 3050, I still ain't going to recommend. 550 is going to be, that's four gigabytes. That's going to be a little too low. And it's GDR5 ITX. If you're looking to do a small ITX build, then, you know, like doing, um, let's say you want to do, uh, a multimedia center for your TV and do videos and stuff like that. That might be okay for that, but. You know, server, um, something for, you know, if you want to plug it in for a server, you know, that's fine for a server too. Um, 1660 Super, 6 gigabytes. If you're looking to be on a budget, I still ain't going to recommend that. I'm sorry, because that's just... Mm. Zotac, I, I might, you know, Zotac's pretty good. So, just to let you know. Um, let's move on down the road. They got a 4060 for 299. That's the 40 series. That's eight gigabytes. That'll still get you in the ballpark if you want to, you know, if you're a first time builder, that still will get you in the ballpark. You know, if you want to stay in the newer cards and that's the newest series so far, 
for uh, NVIDIA if you're looking to stay in that ballpark for 300 bucks. And we'll just keep moving down the road until we find something that looks good. So they got the 6600. Then that, you know, with the 6600, it's still a good, you know, good card. But for 90 bucks more, you best to go back up here and get the 4060. You know, for performance wise, you're going to get a better performance out of the 4060 than you are going to be the 6600. So. Kind of keep that in mind, too. Um, 3060M. Nope, I'm not even going to touch on that. Uh, 3060Ti. You know, it still comes back to the same fact that, you know, this is $89 more than the 4060. So, and this is last gen, this is last gen, um, last gen card. So, you might want to keep that in mind. You know, last gen card. Um, even though that it's 12 gigabytes, you know, it's still last gen. You can get more performance out of the next gen if you really want to push it. RX 580, this looks like I wouldn't even recommend that card. Um, 580, I don't know that company. Um, these companies can always get into my email and send me an email and say, Hey, you know, if you're not, if you're not too sure about your, the card, you know, we can send you one. They can do that. But if they don't, they don't. I'm not going to, and look, and listen to me very carefully, everybody. I'm not going to beg and borrow and steal and do everything to get these companies to, you know, sponsor this channel. I'm not going to go to their, um, I'm not going to go to, uh, you know, their site and say, hey, you want to sponsor my channel and everything else. I'm not going to do that. They want to sponsor this channel. Then they're going to put they're going to come over and email me. Uh, it's got, you know, I've seen many say that I need to email them and all that. No, I don't. I mean, if they want they want their product to be tested by me, then they can contact me. Why should I have to contact them to test their products? I mean, you know, it doesn't make sense. But moving on down the road, let's see, 6750 XT for $59 more than the 34070. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of teetering there, so, you know, in in my opinion. All right, we just went through Amazon. Let's go to New Egg. Let's see, New Egg. And see what New Egg's got cooking on their graphics cards. And we'll just pull them all up to see what they got cooking. Okay. Now, 169 for a 6500 XT, 8 gigabytes. Um, no. I mean, I don't know the company, but I know the brand for the 6500 XT. I had that before here, and I tested it out, and I really didn't like it. The 4 gigabyte version, I really didn't like about it. I mean, it was, it was basically just a plain nasty card. So, they might have something better cooking for the 8 gigabyte version, but let, let's go ahead and look at it just a little bit more carefully. And do the specs. Let's see, it's got 1,024 CUDA cores. <laughs> A 6500 XT with 1,024 CUDA cores. Okay, the RX 580 has over 2,000 cores. Okay, now the bus width is 64 gigs. That hasn't changed, I guess. And it's only DirectX 12. It's not 0.1 or 0.2. PCIe 4.0 X16. It's got one HDMI 3DP uh, slots for... Uh, monitors, 
It's got an external 8-pin power connector. And, and it recommends the power supply of more than 600 watts. Okay. So, and the core, for, core frequency is 2695. I don't know about you, but that, that right there, I'm sorry, I can't see with it not having a, a bus width bigger than 64 bit, I can't really see this card doing anything, especially with not only having 1,024 CUDA cores. I mean, I wouldn't even really call that a budget, budget uh, graphics card. We looked at it and I showed you why. Because you know, if you go over here and you look at the six, you look at this one for two thirty nine, right? This I can tell you is going to be a better deal, okay? So what we'll do is we'll copy it, and the reason why I'll show you it's a better deal, okay? We're going to show you this. And we're going to go to the specs for the 6650 XT. Now, we're going to pull it up. Now, look at this. 2,048 cores, 128 TMU, 64 ROPs, 8 gigabytes of VRAM, GDR6, 128-bit bus width. Now, this, this card right here, is not too bad of a card because it's PCIe 4.0 X8. It's only got eight lanes instead of 16. That's what makes me cringe a little bit about the card. Okay. But as far as with them showing, um, let's go back a little bit. As far as them showing this $169 card compared to the 239 the 6650 XT is going to take the lead on the 6500. We can look and see where the 6500 is, the 6500 XT. So I'm going to go backwards a little bit. Let's see. It could take the lead. It could not take the lead. You never know. So, and I really don't see the 6500 XT in there. Y'all probably seen it and I probably just rolled right over it you know like a, like a gangster there it is right here and compared to the 6650 XT so let's get the calculator out I know you all love the calculator here so we take a hundred and we minus let's see right here 49 so you're telling me that the 6650XT is 51 times faster than the 6500. So looking at the price point, let's go over here. Looking at the price point for right here, we'll pull the calculator back out. So we do the 239 and we minus it from the 169. So... You get 51% more performance for, for $70 more compared to the 6500 XT, compared that to the 6650 XT. So basically, you spend $70 more and get 51% more. So deal-wise, well, the 239 one's a better deal if you're looking at it that way. So yeah, that's, that's a better deal. Yes, I took a couple minutes and spent, you know, to do that. And, you know, look at this. This is ridiculous. The 4080, 16 gigabytes, $1,600. When did, when did the 48, when did the 4080 get the same price as the, um, the 4090? Maybe because somebody advertised the fact that, that uh, the 4090s are still burning with the new connectors. The ones that they recently just put out. So I have no idea what they're going to do about that. You know, 
7900 XT, 20 gigabytes for 749. Better deal. Somebody had, somebody, uh, one of the reviewers put out that um, there was a sale going on, what was it, earlier this week, that they found that I think it was the 7900 XT. You can quote me on it down below. Let me know if I'm right or wrong on this. But I think they said they seen it for $450. So that would be interesting to see if they still got it for 450 bucks because that would be a way hellacious deal compared to that. Um, that's why we're going through today to see if we see anything that's out of the ordinary of last week. And so far, I just see prices incrementing up. Like for the 6800 XT, it's kind of going up in the price a little bit. Um, 4060 Ti, they're definitely starting to go up. The 4068 gigabyte that dropped about six bucks, but that's only six bucks. The 3080 Arc Third A 30 30 380, sorry, for $99. Now, if you're looking for an Arc card and you don't want to spend too much money because you're not sure if they're going to be right for you then you might want to start here with this uh, 3080 6 gigabyte for 100 bucks. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Especially the bonuses when they give you all the, the amenities with the software and everything else. That's where you get your bonus. So keep that in mind. Some companies do. They give you, they give you more you know, perks on the software than you do you getting with the hardware. You know, $1,700 for a 4090. And they got a 4080 at 1600 That's just ridiculous. This is a nightmare. I mean, look at this. $909 for a 4070 Ti. $909. And I paid 600 for the 4070. Well, just to say, you know, you can buy it outright for uh, 600 bucks. So, but I got a cheaper deal on it. So, you can get cheaper deals on this. It depends on how you shop and what you get. You know, this has a limited offer with a promo code. These are promo code offers. So, usually with promo code, they usually jack it up about 100 bucks. So... That's the reason why I don't really go for the promo codes because they jack them up. But five forty nine, five forty nine. That's not bad, especially get Alan Wake two right here, limited offer. So you might as well knock that card down to five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars with the with the game included. That'd make it down to five hundred bucks, just to for say just. An average, don't quote me too hard on that. But to me, it would seem that they brought down the 4070 to 500 bucks. So that's a good deal right there on Newegg if you're looking. Um, let's see, anything else? I mean, Let's see, 4060, 6600, 4070 Ti, still too rich for my blood. Um, look at this, a 3070, 8 gigabyte for $1,100. $1,100. You got to be sick in your mind. $1,100 for a 3070. Who in the right mind is going to pay that for a 3070? which you can get the 3070 all day long for like 400 and some dollars. So I don't see where they're getting this right here. I really don't. Is it, is it that, is the market drying up that much that, you know, you got to worry about it? Nah. I mean, you can get a 3060, 12 gigabytes for 300 bucks. I mean, come on. It's kind of, it's kind of common sense. You know, look at this 4090 OC. Two thousand dollars. 
Then, then you know, then you like wonders why I don't show their site, you know, as much as I do. So I don't know. Who cares? But anyway, let's go to e waste. I mean eBay. I know I have to throw the e waste in there because somebody's going to ask me. I thought it was e waste. It is e waste. So let's get it right. So basically, the, the cards they pick out of somebody's trash, and that's what they sell to you. And then you got to turn around, and go get them fixed for a hundred and some dollars, and then you know basically you got a refurbished card for you know a couple hundred bucks. But let's see, what do they got? Five eighty-eight gigabytes, forty dollars or best offer, huh? Is that the whole lot, or is that just look at this eighteen forty-five in shipping? So you're going to pay almost, <laughs> you're going to pay close to what a brand new one costs, like 20, 25 bucks more. You can go get a brand new one. I don't think so. That is, that is a nightmare right there. 30, 50, I ain't worried about it. 580 for $45, fourteen fifty in shipping. I ain't going to, I am not going to touch that. Today, I'm just rolling through the way, you know, you normally come on eBay. I'm not checking anything over here. We're just going to see it as is today. So 3060 Ti, six, GDR6, 8 gigabytes, a Founders Edition, um, 270. I don't know. It's got four-star product rating. Doesn't seem that bad. Uh, no. R7 360, 2 gigabytes? I don't think so. And there are not many people that are going to be touching 2 gigabytes anymore. Look at this. Brand new price. Brand new price for that card. You know, and they're selling it on eBay. <laughs> That's... This is a used market, okay? Sellers, if you're going to sell brand new, go over to Amazon and sell them on brand new. Oh, that's right, because you don't want to pay Amazon's fees. I got it now. That's the reason why you don't want to sell there is because you don't have enough cards to sell, and you don't want to pay their fees to sell up on Amazon. Okay. Make sure you get your drinking snacks, by the way. So... Let's see, 4070Ti, one bid, plus you get to pay shipping. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, in six days, 21 hours, whoever doesn't bid any higher than that 465, guess what? Somebody going to walk away with the, somebody going to walk away with the 4070Ti for 465. Wow. I don't I'm not gonna get into that. I thought about this, the AMD Radium Pro, the W seventy nine hundred, seventy eight hundreds and stuff like that. The workstation um GPUs. I looked into it and I I found it not to be uh you know, I found it to be a waste of time to look into them because there's not really it's black and white, I mean, and a little bit of color, but, you know, there's not really much more to look into it when it comes to um, a business PC, and that's basically what they go into is a business PC. So, it's not really something I really want to touch into right now, unless I'm building, going to build servers in the future, which I didn't have that in mind. So... Um, but if I do, then I'll make sure I tell you all. Look at this. 40, 80, 16 gigabytes, $1,089. Just crazy. I mean, I can't see paying $1,000 for a PC. I really, uh, for a, a graphics card, when you could buy a whole PC for that price. I really, I mean, I really can't see spending that much on a graphics card 
And I know NVIDIA and AMD, you're thinking that I'm crazy for saying that and everything else because, you know, the graphics card that I got in my system, you're saying that I'm crazy and everything else because it's only $400 away from, you know, that being $1,000. But you know what? At least I saved $400. Well, actually, I saved more than that. I saved about $600, about close to that. So... Saving that much, you know, I'm pretty happy with that because that brought it below what the AMD RX 7, was it 7800 XT? So bringing it below that became a better deal. I'm just going to say to you like that. It became a better deal. So let's move on down the road. Uh, 6600 for 200 bucks. See, these lower-end cards are not going to change in price that much more. They're not going to go down much more lower. So, they can only go up at the at this point. So, sorry, it's just I got a little bit of indigestion today. So, but they do have the ARC 770 here for $200 on a one bid. But they were selling it brand new for 200 bucks. Over there on um, Amazon. So if you don't want to get into the bidding war, just go to Amazon, pick it up for 200 bucks. You have a better deal there. And you know, I was thinking about getting, well, no, the ARC 770 is 300 bucks. It's the 750 that's 200 bucks. My bad. Again, I did it again. I don't know why I keep doing that, but I did it again. So, but if you're looking to spend 300 bucks, then you can get yourself a 770. Or if you're looking to spend 200 bucks, you can get yourself a 750. Or if you're looking to spend below 200 bucks, then you can get a 580. Or if you're looking to spend right around 100 bucks, then you can get a 380. So there's the prices for Intel Arc right now, currently going on. So if that's what you're looking for, and like I said, there's there's a bunch of little nightmares here in eBay. So you know you just got to watch what you're doing um, when when it comes to buying you know graphics card off of eBay. There's many th many factors you got to look into. One. I would always look at see how many they've sold, how what the star rating is, if you can get contact with the owner to find out what kind of deal you can work out with the owner and stuff like that, you know. I mean, but watch the descriptions so that way you know in the description that you're not getting robbed because somebody says, "Oh, this is a 3090 and big headline." But in the description, it says, oh, it's, you know, um, let's say a, a 3050. <laughs> I have seen that on eBay one time that that happened. So let's go ahead and go to Micro Center and see what Micro Center has cooking for today. And we're, they always, these pop-ups are driving me crazy, Micro Center. Kind of minimize the pop-ups, you know, just because you're not signed in. It would be nice. So, graphics card. Okay. I do that because it shows me the available to ship. And it shows me the... The in-store. So the available to ship is what we're looking at right now. This means they'll ship it from Micro Center to your door. So if that's what you're looking to do, 800 bucks for a 7090 Ti. Like I said, I mean, you can get you can get a 7900 XT that's going to equal out to like what the 4080 is going to be and get 20 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, NVIDIA, I'm going to say this.
with the 7900 XT being just about lower price than, you know, your 4070 Ti. I'm going to recommend everybody go get the 7900 XT because it's got 20 gigabytes of VRAM. You know, driver software, Schmeiber software, they'll work out the problem. So, you know, sooner or later. So if it's got a driver problem, you know, it'll be fixed. Always remember, they will put an update and they will fix them. So and they do it more regularly, if I remember right. Uh, AMD is like, it's not like NVIDIA. NVIDIA does theirs once a month. You know, AM, I think AMD does their once a month, too. So even if you, you know, you get it fixed in within a month, so it's not a big deal, you know. But like I said, you know, you can go with the 7900 XT and get a better deal, you know. Or if they got the 7900 XTX on sale, you know, for like like somebody was showing for like four hundred and fifty five hundred bucks, the XTX seventy nine hundred. I mean, if you can find a de smoking deal like that, then boom, you you got the best card of AMD so far. So that's the best way to look at it, and you know, just go from there, and. Micro Center, your prices have not changed since last time I looked. And I want you all to realize that I do go through these each week to see what the prices are. The 4090 is still at $99 over MSRP. That's not too bad. But, you know, the thing is, they should be, they're coming up onto the crossroads of these new founding cards that are going to be coming out. So that $1,699, that $1,700 price tag is going to come down because if they pull out the 4090 Ti, you know they're going to try to keep it around, the 4090 Ti around sixteen to, you know, to $2,000. So that you got to keep in mind as well. And they're going to try to knock these down to like, I guarantee they'll knock 400 off. Hopefully they do and knock it down to the $1,200 range and start knocking these prices down because these are getting like to the point of ridiculousness. I mean, right here, the gigabyte 4070, that's got three fans and comes with the game. You're only paying 500 bucks for it. And that's an NVIDIA card, but 500 bucks. I mean, it says 549 chop off 50 bucks for the game so you make it 500 bucks so you pay 550 bucks you get a free game which knocks the card the actual physical price because you're going from physical you're going from a physical property to an internet property which you know, what's online is kind of different than the physical portion of it. Like you get the whole graphics card, that's that's physical. And this online stuff's basically mental. So you get physical and mental. How about that? <laughs> so let's move on down the road because we only got so much time to play around with this stuff. And that we got to get to the ending of our conclusion. Oh. And, you know, let y'all know what's going on. So, they got a 7800 XT 16 gigabyte for 529. Okay. I'm going to say, because I got the 4070, I'm going to say, you know, for, but they got a game with the 4070. So, 29 bucks more. Eh, speed wise, this doesn't make sense to me. 529 doesn't make sense. Maybe they should do it like at about 470. That would make more sense to the price point. Because um, look, 
Five hundred bucks for a seven. Look at this, seventy-eight hundred XT. Five hundred bucks. Five twenty-nine. I mean, they can knock thirty dollars off and make that more to the price point. So you know, it's, it's still it's still you look at it, it's still coming up to the same price point as the forty seventy. Because of the game that they attach to it, it's still coming up to the same deal. So, really, either way you look at it, you know, with this right here, you don't get nothing with it. You, you see them putting uh, anything with that, that right there, that 7800 XT? No. That's interesting to know. Didn't they have that new game come out that they said AMD is going to support and everything else? Well, how come they didn't put it with this one? How come they didn't put it with this one right here? Oh, because it goes below 500 bucks. All righty. So, but anyway, let's go back to the main screen. Damn, I did it again. Here. Okay. My conclusions. There are some good, there's a, there are some bad, there's price increases that's happened over the, the past week. So with them increasing prices on some of the items, if you go, if you go back and look back about maybe three weeks ago to today, you'll see the prices are slowly climbing up on most of your your graphics cards that are least sold. The ones that are, well, no, the ones that are most sold, you're going to see the price increase. The ones that are least sold, you're going to see the prices stay right at about the same. You're not going to see the fluctuation. So, truth and reality, not really getting a great deal. Everybody was fussing around with about the 4070 and saying oh it doesn't get out the same performance as the 7800 xt and this and that well you know what now them attaching a game to it it's at the same price point and i think it's at the same price point as the 7800 xt performance wise stock performance wise 7800 xt you know, gets up there and goes above and beyond the 4070. But heavy duty RT and stuff like that, 4070 takes the cake. So you look at it and more, they're like 50 50. Okay. They're kind of like on a 50 50 basis. But a lot of people do a lot of ray tracing. So the, they're going to go, you know, the 4070 is going to be taking the cake. As far as ray tracing. Who knows why the 4070 can't take the cake on light ray tracing because it's got it all built in. Who knows? Maybe it's a software issue that NVIDIA has to work out to make the 4070 on both sides of the field work just as good, even greater. Who knows? Maybe it's something like that. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Well, actually, I can tell you about the 4070 and when it comes to the gaming and everything else, I like it better, but the 7800 XT, I can't really give you a fact on it. I can give you my opinion on it. And I think that, you know, from my opinion, that the 4070 is better than the 7800 XT. That's just my opinion. But it's a part of a fact and it's part of an opinion. So, however you want to weigh it. If you do own the 7800 XT and you think that it runs better than the 4070, but you've never tested the 4070, then you're stuck in the same boat as me. So, you can leave your comment below if your 7800 XT runs as great as you think it is. You know, let me know what, you, what you're doing on the performance or whatever. But I can tell you on the 4070, on the performance-wise, it's out of this world. I have 
all good things to say about the 4070. And yes, I'm still in my system. And yes, we're, I think we're, I think I got to look. I think it's approaching the six, six month mark or five month mark, somewhere in between there. But I have not taken it out of my system. It's still in the same slot. It's still plugged in the same way. Nothing's moved. And the one thing I like about the 4070, it has an eight pin connector. It doesn't have that 12 volt, you know, crappy connector that they have on the other one. Because the 4070 was designed, it, it, you can either get it with that special connector or you can get it with an 8-pin. That's what's good about the 4070 because you got the option between either or. I took the option of getting the 8-pin connector with it and staying with it. So if I ever want to, you know, I can always put, they have connectors to where you got a single eight pin that plugs into the card and you can also put dual um, dual eight pin plugs at the bottom and you can plug in uh, an extra eight pin and run two eight pins into the one. But it really doesn't make sense to do that because I've been running the single wire eight pin to that graphics card and it's held, holding up every bit of 200 plus i mean 200 plus watts it's i mean every time i game and it just pushes that power up there to the max on that pin it always stays steady at 200 even though that the board draws a way hellacious difference you know that's a different story for a different video but anyway, that's my conclusion. If you made it to the end of this video, it is much appreciated. And if you're this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do. Supporting the channel, watching videos from beginning to end, and telling your friends to come on down and subscribe and join the community right here at JD's PC builds. So, but until the next time and the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC builds. We will see you on the next one.